Welcome friends to another adventure. I'm so happy today. We are going to see lots of abandoned stuffs in today's tour. We are here today in Lechvich Village Asylum House. Guys, so many things are left behind in this asylum house. If you've come across the history behind this place, the Lecturate Village, you will understand this was a residential institution that was built for physically and mentally challenged people of all ages from the newborn to the elderly. Come with me guys, let's explore the haunted Lechvoch Asylum Village. Guys, in this asylum house, a great deal of immoral acts and bad things took place here. So many stories has it that during investigation, you could hear kids groaning, wailing, and adults screaming for help. In 1996, this asylum house was permanently closed down due to inadequate funding and improper key of the residents and abuse among the kids and elderly people who lived here. Staff also suffered incidents of rape and abuse at the hands of co-workers. Terrible things really happened here this one guys this building used to be the girls dormitory these are the dormitory beds for the girls who lived in this asylum house the kitchen is not really in a bad state judging from when it was abandoned in 1996 till this time this is the female washroom with the yellow curtains this is creepy guys have you ever been in a place you felt like something extraordinary is watching you right there is the same feelings the investigators felt here while on investigation. These curtains you see here did some scary magic by moving back and front, which I'm going to show you right now. This is weird, guys. Look closely, you will notice the curtains swinging back and front. Other curtains 
at the other side of the bathroom is stopped. Guess what guys? This is the machine where the kids were electrocuted. The brains of the adults and kids that stayed here were electrocuted using this machine. Now, why wouldn't there be cries and screams of spirits of the dead coming from this asylum house after passing through such horrific torture? Tell me guys. This is so wrong. This was the cafeteria. Look at how big it is. I will take you around to see how the buffet looks like. Also, you will get to see how the fridge looks like in those days. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is creepy and weird. Could this be the handiwork of the kids who lived in this dormitory or that of an adult? I feel some goosebumps. Here is one place you wouldn't want to visit. Kids and aged people were abused and tortured here. A lot of kids and aged people died in this asylum house. Come take a look at this guys. I guess some ritual was done here. The EMF dictator was used to check if there is any spirit present here. Amazingly, the EMF dictator green light spiked up. That tells us some spirits still lives here. <laughs> After this place was taken over, by the government, the staff that worked here refused to speak about all the atrocities that happened here. Maybe they were scared to speak or they were drugged to erase their memories. What do you think about this, guys? Come with me, guys. Let's explore Esbeth's spooky abandoned stone farmhouse. It's gonna be lots of fun. What I love most about this adventure is the fact I get to capture a little bit of what life used to be like for people and I get to share that with you my friends. Take a look at this old luggage, overturned cheese, all covered in rubble and dust.
gosh, many of the original property in this house are still intact. I can spot a newspaper lying on the table. This newspaper dates back to the year 2011. An oil lamp in this washroom, guys. This is epic. The views here is amazing. This downstairs bedroom contains a piano. This piano belongs to an elderly music teacher who happens to be the owner of this property. Guys, look at these photos. These photos are amazing. The couple who lived here died without having a child but these people in those photos I can say who they really are. Let's take a glimpse into the kitchen. Lots of cat food boxes lying here. This cluttered kitchen is covered in debris from the crumbling ceiling and the floors are weak and shaky. 